Hello and welcome back to another WordPress tutorial. Today in this video you will learn how to create a multi-step form in WordPress for free. And as usual we will work on a live fiber project. And as in the previous video I showed you that how we can create a multi-step payment form in WordPress. And if you want to integrate payments then you can watch my previous video. In this video is a detailed video about multi-step form. So we will be creating a form like this one in which we can display checkboxes and yes no like this we can also display drop downs like these and we can also display text boxes address boxes phone number email and so on so let's see how we can create this type of form and uh, we can display this form in almost all the editors like elementor breezy and the normal gutenberg and so on so let's go to our WordPress dashboard and for creating the form we will install a free plugin. So let's go to plugins, click here new and here search for formator. And this is a free and powerful plugin for creating forms. As you can see formator, contact form, payment form and custom form builder. Just install and activate this. And once you activate this plugin, you will see another menu called formator. So here you can go to its dashboard and here as you can see we don't have any forms, any form submission and so on and to create a form just click on create. Now you can choose a blank form or a contact form, quote request and so on. This will give you some ready made templates. So let's choose contact and we'll click continue. And we will write a form name. This is just the website name. And now as you can see we got these fields. First name, email, phone and message. And this is a very easy form builder. As you can see we can just drag and drop things like this. We can drag this to the right side. We can drag this to the left side and so on. Now we need a few fields that I have in the description as you can see what's your project name. So this is our first step and uh, let's go back and for the project name we need a field so we can remove these fields now. So to create a new field you can click on this or uh, this insert fields. And here as you can see you can choose a number of fields that are available for free as you can see name, email, phone, address, website, checkbox, radio, text area and so on. The only thing here is in the pro version which is electronic signature and we don't need this for now. And uh, you can also see that we can integrate payments like Stripe and PayPal to this form. I already have a video about this so you can watch my previous video about how we can integrate payments to this form. Now let's choose a simple field so we will choose input and we'll click insert and here we can do settings for this specific field. So this is the label for the label I write that question and uh, this is placeholder text so we can remove this because we don't need this or you can write something like project name this is the default video if you want to give it a default video you can write your own video and you can write some description for the field which is not necessary and in the setting tab you can make this required or not so let's choose required and you can also write your own error message for example enter your project name or please enter your project name and here you can decide maximum character for this like 100 200 and so on and you can also pre-populate this with query parameter which we will discuss later and inside styling you can give this additional css class and then you can style this with your own css and the visibility tab you can decide that after which form field you want to make this field visible when as we don't have any other field so we can discuss this later let's click apply and now we have created this field and the next field here is what's your project address 
so let's copy this and now to create a new step you can click on insert field and here you will see page break this is for creating a new step so let's click on this and insert this and that's it that is how you can create a page break and uh, now we have a pagination also which we can style later and now any field after this page break will be in the next step so we can create a new field here or we can just duplicate this so this is the same question let's duplicate this we will drag this and now let's change the label and the placeholder and this field also have an address field let me quickly show you let's remove this click insert field and here as you can see we have address field let's try this here as you can see we have a number of fields that we can enable and disable for example address apartment city state zip code and so on so for now we will only enable address and uh, city and zip code this is dependent on you that which of the fields you need and you can go to settings and you can make things required and optional this is only for the address as you can see and we will also make zip code required and uh, let's go to styling our visibility and here we can show or hide this field based on specific condition that we specify here so if i click add rule then i can set a rule for this and then on based of that rule i can show or hide this field if any of this rule is true or all of these rules that we create are true let me quickly show you if i click add rule and here as you can see enter the project name so if the project name is null then we will hide this field and then we can click apply or we can show this field if the project name is set to a value as uh, set to something like this so now if someone write name here then this field will be visible or if this is not a name so until someone write this thing our next field will not be shown or we can decide something like contains so now if the name contains this letter then the next field will show or we can set start or in points for this so this is depending on you if you want you can set rules and you can hide or display a specific field and if you don't need we can delete this and now as you can see we have the address field and now we need another step so to create another step we can add a new page break or we can just duplicate this and we can bring this down and uh, the next thing here is what is the square footage so let's copy this and this is a normal text box so we will duplicate this and we'll put this below the page break go to its settings and we can just change the label and uh, this placeholder again you can do the settings and styling for this let's choose apply and now we have created three steps form and uh, now we can create all these one by one and uh, let's choose this one because that have name and phone number so to create this you can just go back click insert field and you can put an email and you can do the required setting for this and you can make this required and you can also validate this field so in required you must have to enter a value in this field and in the validate field you must have to write a valid email which will contain a direct symbol and some other text so you can also enable and disable this and then you can just click on apply and this is how you can put an email address and then a phone number so the phone number also have some settings like you can make this required and you can validate that on national international or character limit so you can in the national you can decide that from which country you want to take the phone numbers and you can also disable the validation so this is also really cool in this plugin let's choose usa 
and click apply and we need a page break here also so let's duplicate this and that's it and now you can create multiple step for these inputs and you can display multiple fields like name email phone address checkbox radio drop down and so on for the drop down you can use select and we also have some calculation fields on the base of which we can display a specific field we also have a date figure in this we can also display a time figure and so on even we can display a file upload and this is a really powerful plugin as you can see now in the previous video i showed you that how we can use calculation fields how we can calculate our payments based on the enter amount and so on so for the detail you can watch my previous video let's update this form and let me show you that how it look so we can click on preview and as you can see we got the navigation page one page two page three and finish we can write a project name and if i click next then this is a required field as you can see please enter your project name so let's say name click next and in the page 2 we have street address as you can see street address apartment city province and all that we can also enable and disable these things and what is the footage so we can write some value here and then in the last step we have email and phone and then send message and here as you can see in the phone number we have this flag which means that we are only taking values from the USA and this is the example placeholder and obviously the form is not looking that good but we can style this according to need let's close this first let's go to pagination and for the page 1 page 2 we can remove these values or we can just write step 1 we can go to settings and we can change the steps or we can make it a progress bar so let's try this one and this is the button text we can customize this like this next previous and so on let's click apply now if i see the preview you can see we only have this progress bar now let's close this and now inside appearance we can change the design style like this is default this is plate as you can see remove let remove the border and bold material like this and none you can then customize this with your own css let's choose material for this one and uh, you can also customize colors so you can choose custom colors for everything here let's don't waste time on this you can also change the fonts you can also give a form container some padding border spacing and uh, you can also enable custom css and this is the behavior so the submission behavior is after submission what will happen so as you can see this will display a thank you message you can also click this and you can customize this as you can see you can write your own thank you message you can redirect a user to another url or you can just hide the form and you can also auto close the success message after a few seconds so i'm not going in much detail because these are very simple steps and you can decide that according to your need and inside method you can choose ajax or page reload so ajax is fine because this will not reload the page so and validation you can decide that on which side you want to validate the form on server side or on the submit this is fine this is submission indicator so show loader or submitting like this or you can disable this you can also make auto fail enable and you can do some security changes for this like enable honeypot protection and enable login submission only this is the lifespan so you can do some expiry for the form and uh, rendering so you can decide all these things according to need this is the email notification so after form submission this will send email to which email address you can decide it right here if you go to reception you can change your email or you can add more emails and you can forward this to multiple emails and you can also put conditions on this 
and these are very detailed topics and that is why I am not going in much details. And integration you can integrate payments like PayPal, Stripe and you can integrate this with MailChimp and so on. We don't have any integration connection that is why we don't see anything here. Now let me show you how we can display this form on your website. So let's publish this. And after publishing form you will get this short code. You can copy this and now you can display this in the Elementor, Gutenberg, Dizzy Builder and so on. Let's go to the front page of this website. And the client want to display the form below this video header. So we can display a form here. Let's edit this page and now after the header we can create a new section and we can search for short code and just paste their short code and we will immediately see that form. Let's give this some padding like this and now we can update this page and now let's refresh this and as you can see we got that form over here we will write a project name we will click next we will put our address we will click next next and so on so this is the material look of this form which, which look very nice and now we can design this form and uh, we can change the look of the form we can change the form container and so on which i'll do later because the video will get lengthy this was just to show that how we can create a multi-step form using input address phone email fields and so on so i hope you have learned something new in this video if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next